Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and iOS 13.2 is out for the public. We've seen several betas of this already, but now it is available to download on your Apple devices and we're gonna go over some new changes and fixes here. So one of the first new things that this brings is simply support for the new AirPods Pro, which were announced today and will be releasing and shipping later this week and I'll certainly have coverage of that, but that is new here. Now, additionally, we have some new changes inside of the camera. So when you go into here, one of the first new things that you can do is simply change both the resolution and the frame rate of your video within the camera application. Whereas before you had to go into settings and then go down to camera and change your options there. Now you can do it within the application itself by tapping in the top corner, changing different resolutions and frame rates just by tapping that. And it works for front and rear facing video as well as regular video and slow motion. So that's great here. Additionally, in the camera, we now have deep fusion support. So this essentially is the middleman between HDR, which is high dynamic range for brighter images and between Apple's new night mode for low light images. It kind of bridges the gap and gives you an awesome picture for those in-between images. And this is super powerful. There's been a lot of coverage of this. And this is a feature that will bring your iPhone 11 to the next level with its cameras as each camera utilizes different software to give you the best image possible. Now we have a couple new options for Siri settings as well. So if you go into your settings and you go into Siri, you will also be prompted now whether you want to opt in or out for the sharing of your voice recordings. So before Apple was sharing a little bit of your voice recording data with contractors, uh, but they've stopped doing that and they've made this now an opt in or out. So you can choose whether you want some of your recordings to be sent to Apple for diagnostic purposes. Additionally, now in Siri settings, you have the ability to turn on announce messages so if you have AirPods 2 or newer or some of the new Beats, you can actually have the ability uh, to have Siri announce your new messages as they arrive privately to you, of course. Uh, and you can actually add a control center toggle for this as well. So that is a new Siri setting. Then we have lots of new emoji, which is great. So there's around 50 new emoji ranging from new people uh, and couples, fruit, animals, lots of different objects, some accessibility, wheelchair, things like that. There's a whole bunch of new emoji here. And you can check the link in the description to see all the new emoji. I'm sure there'll be something there that you will like. The home screen has been modified again. So if you 3D or force touch on an application, you'll have the ability to delete the app right from this menu, or you can also click the edit home screen to put it into wiggle mode and move your apps around. And finally, this brings support for iOS 13 on HomePod. So you can tap your HomePod to uh, share your media as well as some other new changes to HomePod. So this is iOS 13.2. It focuses on audio in terms of new AirPods as well as Siri settings, but also a lot with the camera and then new emoji. So this is a pretty good update. I definitely recommend checking out. Let me know if you have any questions. You can leave those in the comment section below. But thanks for watching.